I, I'll tell you everything, Kate, I swear it. But I need the sample, and I need you to go back to your room. The SAS team is coming for you tomorrow. They'll take you to England, to safety. What? I'm not going anywhere. I want to help. And you can. But I need to know that you're safe. Safe from what? The Amari. They've moved troops into the Mediterranean. The radio reports Kate had heard mostly talked of Amari forces being defeated in third world countries. She hadn't given much thought to them. The Amari are a threat? <sighs> Absolutely. They've taken over most of the southern hemisphere. You can't be serious. I am. Martin shook his head. You don't understand. When the Atlantis Plague hit, over a billion people were infected within 24 hours. The governments that didn't topple overnight declared martial law. Then the Amari started mopping up the world. They offered a novel solution, a society of survivors. But only the rapidly evolving ones, what they call the Chosen. They started with the Southern Hemisphere, with high population nations near Antarctica. They control Argentina, Chile, South Africa, and a dozen others. What are they- They're building an army for the invasion in Antarctica. Kate stared at him. It couldn't be. The BBC reports were so positive. Subconsciously, she pulled the tube from her pocket and handed it to him. Martin took the tube and swiveled around in the chair. He hit a button on a thermos-like container with a small readout and what looked like a satellite phone attached to the side. The top of the container opened, and Martin dropped the plastic tube inside. Through the window, the fighting in the camp grew more intense. What are you doing? Uploading our results to the network. He looked at her over his shoulder. We're one of several sites. I think we're close, Kate. Explosions in the camp filled the small window, and Kate could feel the rush of heat even through the wall. Martin punched the keyboard, and the screens switched to a view of the camp, then the coast. A group of black helicopters filled the screen. Martin stood a split second before the building shook, ah! oh. throwing Kate to the ground. Her ears rang, and she felt Martin jump on top of her, sheltering her from the rubble falling from the ceiling. <laughs> 